Today, I am taking part in this wonderful conference with pleasure. I have been visitor for years, but today I will try to be a presenter and share our experience in my short story about implementation of linear reference system in the state road network. At first, some facts about company I represent. Latvian State Roads is state-owned limited liability company, and our main client is Ministry of Transport of the Republic of Latvia. Company is totally owned by the state. Uh, Latvian State Roads performs the management of the state road network, administration of the state road fund, and organization of public procurement in order to provide the publics with profitable, durable, safe, and environmentally friendly state road network. Maintenance and development of municipal, company, and household roads is supervised as well. Main tasks of Latvian state roads are to implement the counting, registration, management, and protection of state roads. Additional tasks of Latvian state roads are consulting and services in the road sector as well. Latvian state roads manages 962 bridges and total length of bridges is more than 30 kilometers. Total length of roads under our supervision is more than 20,000. Let's continue with uh, definitions and theory what is linear reference system? Linear referencing, also called linear reference system, is linear referencing system. It is a method of spatial referencing in engineering and construction, in which the locations of physical features along a linear element are described in terms of measurements from a fixed point, such a milestone, along a road. Each, each feature is located by either a point or a line. If a segment of the linear element or route is changed, only those locations on the changed segment need to be updated. Linear referencing is suitable for management of data related to linear features like roads, railways, oil and gas transmission pipelines, power and data transmission lines as well, and other linear objects. Linear referencing system is linear object addressing system. It ensures linking between geographical coordinates X and Y and road addresses kilometers and meters. Um, a little bit from history, what was the situation in our company before linear referencing system was implemented? We had layer of national road access lines, kilometer marks measured on field, and all uh, information about road was stored in form of lists. The place is characterized by road route index and kilometer address. It was quite complicated to display information in a map, and uh, recording maps wasn't efficient. Uh, it was difficult to organize the management of data related to the road. And uh, there was not, wasn't a uniform approach to dis display all this uh, information of uh, specific addresses. The first layer of state road access lanes was uh, created uh, more than 18 years ago, decoding by auto photo maps, inaccuracies of the recorded information was identified during further work. To ensure as accurate information on road locations as possible for both state information systems and the society, information on classes, locations, and ownership of state roads was updated regularly. Updating of data is necessary if some mistakes are, are found there are some lack of accurate locations of reconstruct, reconstructed uh, sections of state roads uh, in the past. But still, all this work didn't give a result we want. We still had the same challenges. 
a lot of lines, a lot of kilometer markers, but we couldn't find specific point with specific address. Uh, for example, road A1, kilometer 10, dot, uh, 524. In order to ensure accurate and unmistakable location data management in support of asset management and other processes managed by our company, we did, decided to introduce linear reference system in the national road network based on ArcGIS geodatabase and S3 roads and highways software. So what does it mean for us and for our cooperation uh, with Envirotech? These were our tasks to ensure the, intro uh, the introduction of linear reference system in state road network managed by our company. Developed a methodology for preparing the National Road Register database for use with S3 roads and highways software. Create an overview map, macro, and detailed road network map, micro level. Calibrate the updated electronic map of the National Road Network. Organize a training course, provide work guarantee, and consult stations for one year after complete all work. As part of the system implementation, it was necessary to analyze the current situation, define a methodology for optimal application of the linear reference system in cooperation with our specialists and arrange and adjust initial geospatial data according to the methodology ensuring successful operation of S3 roads and highways, disk part and server part with location information in geographical coordinates X and Y and linear reference formats. formats. Uh, for example, a six uh, kilometer one to kilometer two. In addition, it was also necessary to define further data maintenance pro procedures by preparing a priority instructions to ensure that we can maintain the linear reference in its current state as well. Uh, what mean this calibration? It means that we need to define road start and road end address. We use uh, these points for calibration. Uh, there were some other specific points in the road network which we use. For example, two level intersections, rotating circles, and other fixed points with known address. Uh, we are able to delete and add new calibration points and recalibrate this uh, road network. And uh, we can make uh, we can make uh, uh, changes in this calibration point values as well if we get some more accurate information about our road network. Uh, basic principles of uh, linear referencing system is shown in this small uh, picture. We can define a uh, road start and end point with known addresses and uh, this uh, system calibrates road and divides it in uh, proportional parts. Uh, and it let us to show on maps uh, point objects and linear objects as well with defined addresses. But if we add some new calibration point, we can, rec uh, 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 we can make a new calibration for two sections of this road with different uh, precision. In macro level, are not included the road connection intersections, including roundabouts, the axles of two carriageways, instead of rotating circle. A new line is drawn that curses the circle through its center. The line of other roads coming to the rotation circles are drawn to the middle to the center circle. Instead, 
of the right and left carriageways, a line is drawn in the middle of them. Uh, you can see in this picture uh, difference between two information levels, micro and macro. A micro means that uh, it's detailed road network and uh, there are included all carriageways. Macro level uh, is only for the routes and it's, uh, let's say, simple road network. What uh, benefits of it uh, we get? All linking information to geographical coordinates ensures that it's, it is displayed accurately and correctly. Even the value of the linear reference calibration points is changed. And uh, we are able to manage this uh, linear referencing system road network map. Uh, we can uh, easily create uh, overview maps of activities on the national road network. And uh, yes, of course, the one of uh, main benefits is also new knowledges we, we get from this uh, project. And the uh, linear referencing system is the basic for further display uh, of data and information and map as well for data management. What challenges do we have? Um, we still need to work on accuracy of accumulated data on road lengths. Uh, we need to understand that the road uh, kilometer marker is just a marker that helps navigate on road network uh, in nature and only. We need to be as quick as we can to correct information on road network map um, and uh, ensure information exchange between uh, different departments in our company and with society as well. And uh, more accurate information about the road network means that all the real, uh, related information can be displayed more accurately. Uh, we need to update our road network uh, map after reconstructions and so on. And these are some uh, examples of what we did uh, after implementation of linear reference system. We made uh, our regional department responsibility territories. Uh, we can see which uh, division or which unit of our company is responsible about uh, road and uh, we can identify it on a map. Uh, we made the road surface map and uh, it's useful for planning some works as well. And uh, graphic intensity map, uh, which is interesting uh, for a lot of people and it is uh, useful for uh, strategical uh, divisions. Uh, these are only some of uh, possibilities how to use linear reference at the road network. We will continue to increase the accuracy of the linear reference network and improve the display of uh, accumulated data on maps. It's just the beginning. We will continue to, to develop geographically related information. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to say a lot of thanks to the entire Envirtec team and my colleagues which were involved on this linear reference system project. Thank you for your all attention.